What is up guys? Welcome to Supercars of London. Hope you're having an awesome day and another video down in the south of France on Seb Delaney's driveway. To my left or to your right, we have got a beautiful McLaren 720S Spider that McLaren have kindly lent myself and Seb over the last few days. And I've been thinking, scratching my head, what can I do that's different, unique? We both drove it in Arizona, but I was looking around the driveway and we have Cole's KTM Super Duke 1290R here and it kind of recalibrated my brain because every time I come down to the south of France, I wanna know what is the best four wheel machine that can tackle these incredible roads in this beautiful weather. But with Cole here, he is trying to convince me that two wheels are better than four wheels. So myself and Cole have got a little jungle gym approximately three miles away. It's a really nice drive. So I've challenged him to a bit of a drive, an enjoyable spirited drive, not a race. And then at the end, I'm gonna get his reactions and feedback to what it is like driving this on such incredible roads whilst I tell you what it's like to drive that. Now, on this beautiful day, I've got 720 PS, weighs around 1300 kilograms, a little bit more. We have got a 210 brake horsepower motorbike that weighs only 200 kilograms. So it's got a better power to weight ratio than a Koenigsegg 1.1. That just shows the disparity between two wheels and four wheels. This car costs 350 grand and what you get for that is the luxury of taking the roof down so that you can feel the wind around. On that bike you get the wind all over your body and it only costs 13 grand and yes they are two totally different machines but all you need to own one of these is a driving license which you can pick up at 17 years old and money. That you need to do all sorts of different tests to prove that you're skillful enough to drive one. <laughs> and when I was 17 years old, if I had all the money in the world, the dream would have been to have a Lamborghini. And I probably would have died because I had no experience. So I am all for more experience, more tests to be given to people that want to drive supercars. Because I'll be honest, at 17 years old, I really should have been in a car that had 150, 200 brake horsepower. Because my brain was not mature. <laughs> it's not now! beautiful weaving in and out of little villages and I've just got a V8 twin turbo sound right over my head but also a crazy loud super bike and whilst I am comfortable confident and enjoying my ride spending time with Nick just learning more about bikes in general has recalibrated my brain oh! <laughs> It's just a different way of thinking, a really cool way of thinking. And uh, yeah, it has got me thinking. Coming into a little town now that actually has a lower speed limit than before, and speed bumps. <laughs> it's a different sound. You can get bikes that scream like F1 cars, but that's just like, a monster, an absolute monster. So KTM Super Duke 1290R. It's a mixture, it's a nice balance between the crazy performance, but I really like the sort of cafe racer, luxury cruiser type bike where you just sort of, all you're doing is cruising around and getting a tan. And right now, that's kind of what I'm doing in the 720S. Once we get out of this little village, I think it's more time to have a little bit of fun spot mode engaged.
bikes, but... Oh, oh! Right. Firstly, I've never sweated so much in my life. <laughs> you're telling me. <laughs> so you're all dressed up and stuff. That's one of the things that you have to do. Absolutely. Or try to do when you're Safety riding. Safety first. Safety first. Because that is a big element to riding something like this. Look, let's take a look at what we've got here. You've got a little phone mount there. That's right, yeah. A screen. General info. Kill switch. <laughs> so this is what? What would you call a naked superbike? A naked, yeah. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. I mean, it's it's in the top top class of performance wise, and it's got probably the. There are bikes that are a little bit faster, but it's yeah. right up there. Um, this is. It looks so cool, and it sounds monstrous. Look, acropovic <coughs> exhaust, carbon tip, my kind of bike, I think. Classic car. Did you know that if you drop a helmet, you can throw it out? Really? It's got one impact. So that's it. Well, I, I dropped it on the visor, so off I'm it good. goes. Off it goes. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, I've had a fair amount of experience driving cars like this and absolutely zero experience riding a bike like this. And my channel has featured one bike in its life. So can you it, it <clears> explain <throat> what it's like to ride? Because it's totally different from being sure. a passenger. Yeah, I mean... Especially here, especially here. Because I'm recalibrating my brain. Yeah. And actually now like the idea of potentially doing two wheels on roads like this. Did I? Did I persuade you to do that? Yeah, it's been the last <laughs> 10 days just being with you and, and yeah. seeing you ride this. I'm like, ah, oh, the McLaren's cool and the convertible's even cooler because you get like the wind through your hair if I yeah. wasn't wearing a cap. Yeah. But you get that. It's totally different. They're completely different machines. I mean, I, I'm, as you are, a massive petrol head, but I started riding bikes when I was about nine. And I can I can't really tell you apart what I prefer more. Okay, they're just so different. You get because the seven twenty S is faster in a straight line and Absolutely. faster through the corners. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you know, we've been out on drives together, and it's it is it will pull away a little yeah. bit, especially through the corners. You know, you need to slow down on this, but it's the element of um, so in a car, you literally just your feet and your arms, and then yeah. you've got oh, this whole thing around you to protect you. Yeah, your arms do all the work. The car does the rest, right? Yeah, yeah. Here. It's every single millimeter of your body weight movement that will have an impact on how you perform. Okay, how, yeah, yeah. How yeah. the bike. So, like, you're so much more involved that it gives you more joy. So the adrenaline the is adrenaline even is on another level. Well, yeah, another level. Yeah, this is just <laughs> the cars. I'd say are just pure joy because you get that rush of you know acceleration and cornering because it's. I mean, it's in a way easy. You know, there, there are a lot of people who can't drive that can do it. Yeah. Um, but this. If you're gonna go, you you, do you need, need to know, what, know you're what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Which is why there are a number of different tests that you need to take to even get to this level of bike, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they are learning every day. Good. So, I mean, <laughs> honestly, if you could feel what my T-shirt is like, it is <laughs> dripping. But I, I don't want you to. But it's it's a cool ride, isn't it, to have these two toys out here? I kind of feel like in the UK. 99% of the time that would be kind of pointless and 720s in convertible form is kind of pointless mm. but it's out here that I've really Wait, started really to really enjoy it yeah, yeah like the first time I went to California mm. and I saw people cruising around on like real cruiser bikes I was yeah. like it's probably quite a nice place to drive mm. ride so sure, ride for sure um, so yes apologies if I've completely butchered the motorbike community by some of my uh, jargon as we've been driving <laughs> but it is so much fun to cruise together I was a little bit holding off because whilst I know you're a very 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 good driver on that because you used to do something off-roading right? I used to race for over 10 years yeah, yeah. In enduro so that's where you, you learn a lot about bikes he knows what he's doing <laughs> um, I'd say you're more experienced on that than I'm in there but it's a, been a, an epic morning mm. and that is why I love down, uh, coming down here because the lifestyle is something totally different and it is all focused around being a petrol head whether it's bikes or cars because there's just so many amazing roads and awesome weather spot on yeah ladies and gentlemen Thank you very much for watching. Let me know whether you've enjoyed this video and whether you would like to see more two-wheel action, maybe with Cole, or am I ballsy enough to go and get my own license? What would you, what do you, you yeah. think? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll get you up and running.
dude been a pleasure <laughs> we would work out but we're not dressed right but just over there is where we do work out some of the time anyway ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already head into the link in the description so you can find cole and i will see you soon massive thank you to mclaren as always goodbye guys take care